guys! So today I'm doing a video that I feel is very important. And that video is dealing with rejection. So this can kind of go for any aspect of your life because we all know rejection is a huge part of life. But I'm mainly focusing this around rejection with acting because there is a lot of it. Definitely. One of the biggest parts of acting, and I don't think a lot of people really think about it, one of the biggest parts is rejection. Which is why you have to have such a thick skin in this industry because you're going to get so many no's in just a couple of yeses and it can really break you down and start to wear on you or at least it has for me in the past or I guess the present. <laughs> you can start to feel really defeated when you start to hear so many no's. I have not been auditioning very much. I have not been getting a lot of auditions. I'm just not sure if there's not a ton in my area right now or what's going on, but I haven't been getting barely any auditions. However, I did have a couple of auditions this year. The auditions I had that were for bigger films, big feature films that are going to be like in theaters and I had a supporting role in each that I was auditioning for, I ended up getting callbacks for. And that's great. Callbacks are wonderful. Callbacks mean you're doing something right. But I almost feel like when I get a callback and then I don't book it, I almost feel worse than if I didn't get a callback, if that makes any sense at all. It's like I'm that much harder on myself, like I was so close, what could I have done differently? Was it something I did? Was it just my look? And then I feel like you start to go through a lot of stuff in your head about why you didn't book it. Were you not talented enough? Were you not pretty enough? Were you not thin enough? Were you not this or that or this? And that sucks and it starts to wear on your self-confidence and I just think it's, it's hard dealing with rejection but this is one of the biggest parts of acting that you don't get training on. You just really need to learn how to deal with rejection in your own way. Now everybody deals with it differently. For me, I've had so many auditions that I never got callbacks for or booked and a lot of them I was just like, okay, like moving on. And I'm sure it's that way for you guys too. It's just like, keep going because, you know, one day you're gonna book a role that you really care about. I think I got so hooked on some of my auditions and callbacks because I really fell in love with some of the roles I was auditioning for and they were very different for me and also some of my favorite actresses were in these films so that made it that much harder but so I you know have a lot of auditions that didn't bother me when I didn't book them I was like oh well but there are definitely quite a few and a lot as of recently, as I said, that when I didn't book them and after I went to the callbacks and found out I didn't book them, I was so hard on myself and I was devastated and I'm having a hard time moving on from it and I'm doing a lot of comparing myself to the people that got the roles and that is what you don't want to do. I'm having a really hard time just like getting myself out of this funk, like feeling so defeated and feeling like I am not good enough and I just want to tell you guys a couple of tips I have for dealing with rejection. These are kind of no-brainers, but I just want to tell you guys, um, you're going to go on a lot of auditions in your life. You are going to go on a ton and you're going to get so many no's and it's not necessarily because of you. Maybe there was just someone that had a different look that they were going for. That, for example, one of the roles I auditioned for ended up casting two blonde parents that were supposed to play my parents. They're not going to cast me for the daughter of two blondes with blue eyes. It just doesn't work. Just keep in mind that it's not always something you have control over. All you can do is get training, do your absolute best, and 
if they don't like you, then screw them. <laughs> also, something I would like to say is if you don't feel 100% prepared for an audition, whether it's an audition audition in person or a video audition, don't do it. Seriously, don't do it. I think you should submit something you're really proud of and something that you feel really good about than submitting something that you kind of did halfway and you didn't do a great job, maybe you were rushing. See, I kind of have something that happened like that just about a month ago. I auditioned for a huge, huge feature film. I found out about it when I was down five hours away from my house for a callback. So I was leaving for Florida the next morning and I had to literally go home after this long day, five hours away from my house, and film this audition that I had just gotten in my email and I had to have it submitted, but I didn't have a lot of time. I was rushing around. I didn't even pack all of my stuff yet. So I literally just used a teleprompter and I didn't really give it my all. I'm not saying I didn't, you know, try, but I feel like I could have done a million times better. And honestly, looking back, I shouldn't have submitted it. It wasn't bad, it's just wouldn't stand out. It probably really blended in with the crowd and didn't show all of my ability and the things that I can really do and the choices I can make in the script to make my audition stand out from other people. So make sure that you are definitely making choices and you're making it different and unique so it stands out and make it your best. You can't look at it and say, oh, that's pretty good. Now for me, I'm always super judgmental of myself, so I never really look at anything of myself and say, that's amazing. But you want to look at it and be able to say that it's some really good work. You know that that was kind of showing some of your best things you can do. And if it's not that, then don't send it in. You want the casting directors to have a great impression of you and to have a great memory of you and say, Oh, that's the girl that, even though we didn't book her, like, we really loved her take and we thought she did a great job and, like, made it different. It stood out. Like, I would love to work with her in the future. You don't want it to just be, like, something they throw in the trash pile after, like, five seconds of watching it because it's just like everybody else's. Something that helps me deal with rejection, it sounds dumb, but it's just reading quotes. And I found a few that I really like that helped me kind of get through the past few weeks. So I'm going to read them to you guys. Starting today, I need to forget what's gone, appreciate what still remains, and look forward to what's coming next. This one says, if you live for people's acceptance, you will die from their rejection. And this is so true. If you're putting all of your eggs in one basket and you're getting so into this one role, now don't get me wrong, you should really put yourself into the role, but if you're getting your hopes up and you're really just focused on this one thing and not, you know, looking at the big picture thinking you'll have a million of auditions like that, you're gonna get really wrapped up in it and if you get rejected, you don't get the role, you're going to feel so devastated and it's gonna be that much harder to come over it. So when you're auditioning, just think, if I get it, I get it. I'm gonna have a million auditions. I'm gonna have a million opportunities. Just think of it like this. This is practice for you. This is your chance to show them what you have. Just kind of go in there like you're not gonna book the role, but you're just there to have fun and show them what you can do. And truly just tell yourself you're not gonna get it, but it's gonna be a great time. You're gonna have fun with it and you're gonna do your best. And then you won't get too wrapped up in it and then if you book it, then it's even more exciting because you weren't expecting it. Once you leave the audition room, just forget about it. Wipe it from your memory and just move on to the next thing. Go looking for new auditions and keep going. That's 
what being an actor is. This is from Amy Jo Berman, which if you guys don't know her, she's amazing. She's a casting director, you should go check her out. It says, rejection doesn't mean you're not good enough. It means the other person failed to receive the gift that you have to offer. Sometimes the casting directors really don't know what they're looking for and someone else may have a quality that you don't and you may have a quality that they don't and everyone is so different and everyone's their own person. Everyone's acting is different, the way they talk, the way they move, the way they characterize, the way they get into a role and we all have our own individual gifts. We all are special actors in our own means. They just might be looking for a different type of actor with a different gift from you that day. And just because they didn't choose you doesn't mean you're not good. So just keep plugging along. The more big auditions you go on, you're gonna get better with dealing with rejection. When you only go on a few huge auditions, then it's easier to get wrapped up in the really big ones, but when you're going on big auditions all the time, it kind of becomes no big deal. Sorry guys, I feel like I'm just word vomiting all over the place. My mind is in like 50 million places, and I have like crazy ADD going on right now, <laughs> and I'm just trying to get the words out of my mouth, but I feel like it's coming out very jumbled. What can you expect from me? I'm sorry. But just tell yourself, you are enough. You are great. Keep plugging along and doing the auditions and training and improving yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others. There's another quote, I believe it's Don't focus too much on the people that booked the roles, although it can be helpful to kind of see maybe what it is that they did, not that you want to copy them, but it is kind of helpful to see like maybe what made them fit that role better than you. But don't get too wrapped up in who booked the role because they're a different person. They're going to book something eventually. It might not be the exact time that you want it to be, but you're going to if you just keep pushing forward. One of the best ways to deal with rejection is to keep yourself busy and move on to the next thing. This is what being an actor is. You're just auditioning, 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 and it's a whole bunch of auditions where you're not booking it, and that doesn't mean you're not good enough. There are hundreds to thousands of people that audition for each role, and who knows, you could have been in their top three and you don't even know it. It doesn't mean they don't like you, and it doesn't mean you didn't do a good job. Just, just do you. Just do your best and forget the rest. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know your experiences with rejection. Have you had any experiences similar to mine? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!